Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you one of the best games ever played, which is called the Opera game. In this, the American legend Paul Morphy is white, and he is playing against the German Duke Karl and French Count Isvar. In the opera, they had invited him to the opera, and so he is playing the game with them. And uh, Morphy is white, and the Duke and Count are black. And this game is played in 1858. So let's begin. Morphy begins with e4, e5, knight f3, developing the knight and attacking the pawn, then d6. In modern times, it is more common to play knight f6 or knight c6, but okay, d6 is not a bad move. Then d4, putting two pawns in the center. And over here, you should just take and develop your knight, knight f6, and just play the game. But um, black, the duke and count, played bishop to g4, pinning the knight. Which is already a bit of an inaccuracy because now d cross e5 and you cannot take back this pawn because if e cross d5 then queen cross d8 king cross d8 and knight cross e5 forking the bishop and the f7 pawn which would fork the king and the knight when captured and uh, fork the king and the rook when captured and also trap the rook so the only move is bishop to e6 but even after that white is a pawn up as you can see over here and black has lost the right to castle so that has that is why bishop cross f3 was played queen cross f3 so the structure does not get damaged d cross c5 now bishop to c4 uh, threatening mate and developing the bishop knight to f6 and queen b3 attacking both the b7 and f7 pawns now if i were to ask you which pawn is more important the pawn on f7 is definitely more important because it's closer to the king Suppose you play b6, then it's just a mate in 2. Bishop cross f7, king cro moves up, and queen to e6 is made. So, black played queen to e7, and over here, it kind of defends both pawns, even though it kind of doesn't. Because if you play queen to cross b7, then there is queen to b4 check, and you must take. And after that, you are still a pawn up, but... Um, Puffy, Murphy would just have wanted to watch the opera and not play the game. So that's why he played knight to c3. Now the threat of queen cross b7 is very much there because queen b4 is no longer a check. So c6 defending it. Bishop to g5. Pinning the knight. And b5. Now over here Murphy sacrificed the knight. Now if the king would have been castled over here then sacrificing would not have been good. But since the king is in the middle of the board and has difficulty moving, uh, sacrificing is fine because now knight to bd7, this knight cannot move because it's pinned to the queen. Now long castles and now you can see the prob problem. Both of the knights are pinned, one to the queen, one to the king. And after rook d8, trying to defend everything, black's position is just miserable. Everything of blacks is just stuck inside this rectangle with just two pawns outside and so it's very bad now rook plus d7 and uh, black plays rook plus d7 now the rook is pinned so rook d1 putting pressure on the rook and queen to e6 looking to relieve some of the pressure but now there is just a knockout punch bishop takes on d7 uh, Queen takes, uh, queen takes d7 is not is what the engine suggests. Actually, you must sacrifice your queen. But knight cross d7 was played. Queen b8. After and after knight cross b8, this rook on d1 played its second move of the whole game and ended the game in just 17 moves. Now over here, that was only possible because after bishop cross d7. The knight cross d7, this bishop opened up. Sorry, that's not the move. And after queen b8 check, knight b8, this opened up. That is the only reason why white was able to checkmate black. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye.